So just when I thought I'd come to the final conclusion of my thoughts about what sizes are best for my wrist, I realized I was completely wrong and thinking about it the wrong way. Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I am talking about watches, and I'm actually talking about my wrist today, my 17 centimeter wrist. A wrist which apparently is a medium size. For my whole life, I'd kind of thought I'd had small wrists, but when I started to really dive into watches and get a bit of an understanding of what size watches I think suit me, it actually came out that I've got a medium wrist. So that's actually pretty good. In fact, it's actually a reasonable wrist size for quite a few different watches, so I'm a little bit lucky that way. But I always kind of thought originally that a watch between sort of 38 to 42 millimeters was the right size for me. In fact, I tended to go to watches from about 40 to 42 first because I was wearing predominantly dive watches. But as I sort of went through the sort of journey of watches, I realized slightly smaller watches are even better for my wrist. So 38 to 42 with 40 being my perfect size watch. So for a long time, that was a big part of my purchasing decisions, especially watches that I didn't get to see first, ones that I ordered online. But then I bought a really nice watch. And at the time, it was my nicest watch in my collection. It was my Long Jeans High Joe Conquest. It was more money than I'd ever spent on a watch. And it was a 42 millimeter, but it was a much bigger watch on wrist than what I sort of expected, the lug to lug. But then as I sort of continued, I then realized it had more to do with the lug to lug dimensions than it did with the case dimensions. Because even if it was a 42, if it had a huge lug to lug, then it wasn't going to fit my wrist. Or sometimes it might be a 38 millimeters, but it had a very, very tucked in lug to lug. And then I wasn't really sort of connecting with those watches. So I started thinking, okay, it's not so much the case size, it's the lug to lug. And I thought to myself, the maximum lug to lug for my 17 centimeter wrist is 50 millimeters. Yes, that's it. In fact, I decided 46 up to about 50 is my sort of specific sort of size and 48 tended to be the perfect lug to lug for me. And then I started buying some watches that had longer lug to lug than that. And I realized, oh, well, that's not right either because the shape of the case makes such a difference. Does it have male end links, female end links? Is there a curvature to the case? That makes a big difference because I've owned watches at that point in time that were over 50 millimeters, but they look great. So all right, I was thinking, okay, I've reset this now. It's not just the case, it's also the lug to lug. I think I've got this now. Don't buy anything over about 51 millimeters lug to lug, as long as there's some downturn. But then I bought some watches that just had that sort of slightly longer lug to lug, not really lug to lug lug to lug, and just looked a bit weird on my wrist. Perhaps they didn't have quite enough downturn and they sat a bit strangely. And then I realized, well, I don't have a perfectly round wrist or it's not perfectly flat on top. So maybe each wrist is a little bit different and the watch needs to suit that wrist. So it's now case diameter, lug to lug, shape of case, but it also has to suit my individual wrist. Okay, now I think I've got this down pat. Yes, there can be some modifications, but it really has to come down to the particular watch. But now I've realized that that's kind of wrong as well because I'm thinking about it the wrong way around. What I need to start off this sort of thought is, does the size of the watch fit the style of watch. So some watches I think deserve to be bigger watches like pilot watches. I love pilot watches and most pilot watches tend to be bigger, which is why it's put me off some pilot watches, but I've realized that it suits the style. Like vintage watches as well. Vintage watches are smaller. Generally what I would have considered too small for my wrist, but it suits the style of the watch. So I'm now going into this idea of size of watch, firstly from the style of watch. Does the bigger watch suit that style of watch? Does the smaller watch suit that style of watch? And then start to think about case, then start to think about lug to lug, then start to think about the wrist sort of shape and how that watch sits down on wrist. It's more than just a dimension. If I look at a dimension on a website, I now don't write it off immediately. And I don't write it off immediately because of two watches in my collection. My most expensive watch in my collection, which was a scary watch to buy because it is a big watch, this IWC. This has a very, very large lug to lug. In fact, I would have thought it would be too big for me. And when I was spending this sort of money, that really scared me, but I ended up just taking that leap of faith 
and I think it looks great. Yes, okay, it is still a very big watch because I think it's a 44 millimeter case diameter, this one, and it's like a 53 lug to lug, a big watch, but it suits the style and it still fits the dimensions of my wrist. Now, I'm not saying that you can buy yourself a 49 millimeter case diameter pilot and that's fine because it's a pilot. Well, it's probably gonna look a little bit funny on your wrist, overhanging your wrist, but I think the style of watch forgives size a little bit, just like vintage watches as well, because my Rado, which I absolutely adore, is a 35 millimeter, and I never thought I would wear a 35 millimeter watch, but it just suits this watch. It suits the style watch, and I think it looks great on my wrist. But if I flip these two around, if I had that Rado looking watch as a 44 millimeter watch, I think it would look weird. And if I took that Pilot watch and I shrunk it down to 35 millimeters, I think that would look a little bit weird too. So style watch has a lot to do with whether or not it suits that size of watch. You then have to see whether it fits on your wrist. So this idea of does size matter? Well, it does, but it doesn't. Well, it does and it doesn't. There's more to this conversation than just, I only wear 40 millimeter watches or I only wear up to 48 millimeter lug to lug. Because I know a lot of people do this. I was doing this looking at dimensions on a page and thinking, too big, too small, won't fit my wrist. There's more to it, and it's worthwhile considering. It is hard sometimes, however, spending money on a watch that you think might be too big or too small without seeing it. But I've been doing this, and very rarely have I ended up buying a watch and thought, nah, wrong size. So it's really opened up my mind to other watches, and I'm so glad it has because I've ended up with some incredible watches in my collection. I'd be really interested to know what your thoughts are on this because I have no doubt that almost everybody watching this is going to say, well, I like 42 millimeter watches or I like 36 millimeter watches. Have you considered the other aspects to this, the lug to lug, the shape, but in particular, have you considered the style watch when taking into consideration the size and whether or not you should buy it? I'd be interested to know. Leave me a comment and maybe watch one of these videos next.